election day in the U.S. was election night in Moscow. But despite the time difference, one group of Russian students would not be denied their opportunity to feel the election fever just like their American counterparts. It's really interesting to be here to see it all. Just unique chance. Invited by the U.S. ambassador to an election party at his residence in Moscow, these foreign affairs students were so fascinated by the U.S. presidential election that they presented their own versions of the candidates. This is my husband, Barack Obama, and I'm Michelle Obama. It's my Sarah Palin. And mastered the election terminology and catchphrases to go with them. You can call me Joe the senator. I don't believe in any kind of things like Bradley effect. You betcha. She's, she's really cool. But the party ended hours before the first exit polls. So the group set out into a cold Moscow night to accomplish their goal. Well, it's 8 p.m. in New York, but that's 4 in the morning here in Moscow, a time for the dedicated and the political diehards to be following elections. Here, at one of the few American diners in Moscow, is where they come to do it. At the diner, the students joined with other Russians, foreigners, and expat Americans, not content to wait until morning to hear the election's results. As the hours went by and late dinner turned into early breakfast, the poll results started rolling in. Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota. Bringing good news to the overwhelmingly pro-Obama crowd. And eventually giving the students the moment they had come to see. Even McCain's student representative found reason to be satisfied. The whole campaign was historic. It was the most interesting campaign in American history. This victory alone is not and for one night, they got to witness American history from thousands of miles away. Yonatan Pomeranz, NBC News, Moscow.